Good morning ladies and gents. We're going to have a look at this morning how we can use Excel to analyze the difference between two sets of data. We're going to end up looking at a statistical test called the t-test. So let's jump straight into Excel. And what we've got here is two data sets for some fertilizer on a plot of land. And we've got two fertilizers, fertilizer A and fertilizer B. And we've applied it eight times, or to eight plots of land down here. So, for example, the first plot of land, when we used fertilizer A, we got 17 kilograms of yield. And then when we used fertilizer B, possibly in a subsequent year, we got 18 kilos of yield. So the question is, is fertilizer B better than fertilizer A. At GCSE level what we would have done is we would have gone into a cell down here at the bottom and we would have calculated the mean value of all of the A's, the mean value for fertilizer A. So let's do that now. I'm going to type equals average and some brackets and I'm going to click and drag out the data and then I'm going to close the bracket. And that tells me that the average of fertilizer A is 10.75. I'm going to do the same for fertilizer B. Press equals, can't spell, type in average and an open bracket. And then I'm going to click and drag out the data, D5 to D12, close the bracket and press return. What that tells me is that the average of fertilizer B is 12.75 and the average of fertilizer A is 10.75. So at this point we could say that fertilizer B is bigger, has a bigger yield than fertilizer A. And maybe if this was GCSE level we'd stop at that point and we would conclude that B was better, produced a higher yield than A. As we take our science further though we need to be able to quantify and we need to be able to say if that difference, in this case 2, is that difference actually big enough to actually take it seriously? Yeah? Because what if the average of B had only been 11? So there was a tiny difference between A and B. Would that difference have been big enough to actually say, hand on heart, that there was a difference between A and B? And a test exists in Excel to do that, and it's called a t-test. So we're going to calculate a t-test on these two columns, these two populations of data. We're going to type equals t-test and an open bracket. And then there it says array 1, array 2, tails and type. Now we'll deal with tails and type in a moment, but array 1, we're just going to click and drag the data, which now gives me C5 to C12, and I'm going to type on the keyboard a comma. And if you notice, the highlight has gone across to A2, array 2. So I'm now going to click and drag on array 2, D5 to D12, and type a comma. Now it's looking for tails, one-tailed distribution or two-tailed distribution. Now, the difference here is if, if we already suspected that one of the means was different and we had some prior knowledge, we would select a one-tailed distribution. But as we're really using this test to, to determine if there is a difference, we're going to select a two-tailed distribution. So I'm going to type 2 at the keyboard and press a comma. Now it's asking me for the, the type of distribution. Is it saying it's a paired or two samples? A paired test would be maybe we had the same person and we were giving them some treatment and we were testing the person, the same person, before and after. We would choose the paired sample. But this isn't the case. We've got two fertilizers, two different independent fertilizers, possibly working on separate plots or subplots. So we're going to choose three, which is a two sample unequal variance, which is the most general case. We're saying we don't really know what's going on here. We want this test to tell us if there's a difference. I've typed in a three and I'm going to close the bracket. And then I'm going to press return. And it tells me here that the answer is 28%. Now I've already set that cell up to show it as percentages. It could be 0.28, but as a percentage it displays it as 28%. Now what that value is telling me is that there is a 28% chance 
that these means are the same. Okay. So there's only a 72% chance that they're different. Now that seems pretty good odds, 72%. But in the world, scientists and lawyers and legal professions and people have agreed that actually the value that we want is 5%. Anything above 5% in terms of the, the means being the same, we will reject. Because if I was in inve asking for a million pounds to invest, and I suddenly came along and I said, well, actually, fertilizer B compared to fertilizer A, there's actually a 28%, nearly 30% chance that actually it doesn't have any effect, that these means are the same. Yeah, There's only a 70% chance that B is better than A. If I was investing a million pounds, that's not good enough odds. If I was going to send someone to prison and I'd just done a, a test on urine samples or I'd just taken some DNA and fertilizer B corresponded to this, this DNA to another person, I'm saying, well, actually, there's only a 70% chance that, that we're right. There's a 30% chance that we're wrong. So at 28%, we would reject it and we would say that there is no difference. Okay. Statistically, even though the means are different, statistically, we would say there is no difference. And actually, any difference that we do measure could be down to chance alone. Okay, so that's the t-test. The Excel command there equals t-test and then we draw out the data for data 1, data 2 and then we type in the tails and the type and it returns a number which we can interpret as a percentage chance that these means are actually the same. In our case 28% is not high enough or is too high and we end up saying that the means are actually the same. Thank you.